welcome again to the course in this video we will learn a new set of operators and these are going to be the comparison operators comparison is something that we always use in between two data types for example if i want to find out that if this particular variable is greater than or less than or equal to a particular other variable then in that case we have to use the comparison operators let's understand how this will work in the comparison operator let's assume that i'm having two variables this is 10 and in the b i'm having let's say it is 20 right and over here in this console dot right line method i want to find out whether a is greater than b or not so here i can use this symbol and this is the same symbol that we used to have in our mathematical classes let's run this application and see what is the output they are getting the false value because 10 is not greater than 20 that is why it is false if i'm having some different values over here for example it is 30 let's run it this time you will notice you are getting true and just like the previous videos we can also find out the values in a separate expression for example this c like this we are getting the error it is saying that we cannot convert the boolean type to this integer so the return type of this operation is boolean so either we can use the where keyword over here and automatically we will get the boolean value at this place see it is boolean or we can also use the boolean explicitly like this right so if i want to use this c at this place run this application again you will see we will get the proper output right in the same way if you want to find out that whether a number is less than the second one then you can use this less than symbol right so what we are comparing we are comparing whether this a is less than this b no the a is not less than the b because 30 is greater than 20 so 30 is not less than the 20 that is why we are getting the false over here right this is how you can basically use these concepts over here and just for the simplicity if i want to write these values over here i'm writing 10 is greater than 20 and in the next line i'm writing 10 is less than 20 let's see what is the output you can use we are having this false and the true we can also use less than equal to and greater than equal to how to do that so let's say here i'm having this 10 and again here i'm having this 10 and i want to try the greater than equal to then i can use this symbol right let's just run this application this time you can notice we are getting true because both these values are equal to each other so if the first value is less than the second one then still we will get the true value or if both of them are equal then we will also get this true value over here in the same way we can also use this greater than this is how you can use this symbol let's run this application we are getting true because both of them are equal if i'm having let's assume that one over here and here i'm having this one zero one so both these conditions are true so ideally we will get the true from these methods we are having this true and true so this is how you can work with the comparison operators and if you want to find out that whether two numbers are equal or not then you can simply use this equal equal symbol how console dot write line 10 equal equal 10 that's it to find out the equality of two numbers we have to use double equal why double equal because the single equal is used to assign the values what does it mean it means if i'm having this a and i'm using this one equal symbol and i'm using this 10 what i'm doing over here i'm basically assigning this value 10 to this variable a so the single equal is used for the assignment but this double equal is used to find out the comparison let's run it and we are getting all trues how can we use this equal equal symbol so for example if i'm having this b also over here 20 and let's assume that i'm getting both these values from some different place and i do not know what is the exact value or we can also say that i will get these values at the runtime and if i want to find out that if these values are equal or not equal equal b then i can use this kind of operator right so this is how we can use the equal equal symbol the less than symbol the greater than symbol less than equal to greater than equal to symbols in this c sharp operators you can also use these operators on the character values as well for example if i'm having this char a is equals to let's say it is and i'm also having one more variable over here which is going to be b and this time i'm having this b over here and let's just comment all these lines 
and here I'm writing console dot right line and this time I want to use this a is less than B what will be the output run it it is true the a is less than B so how we are getting this value so basically in this kind of operation the corresponding SKI code will be calculated basically the character code and then the comparison will take place on those codes if the value is less than then we will get the true if it is larger then we will get the false this is how you can use the comparison operator in c -sharp programming language i hope you are enjoying this course don't forget to tell me your feedback in the comment section below thank you for watching have a great day